Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you a few hidden settings that can make your old phone feel completely new again. Think back to the day you first unboxed your phone. It was fast, smooth, and everything opened instantly. But after a year or two, even simple apps like WhatsApp start lagging and your battery drains twice as fast. The reason? Background functions that nobody ever tells you about. These are real hidden system settings that actually make a difference. So by the end of this video, your phone will feel lighter, faster, and smoother like the day you bought it. All right, let's get started. Step one, clear the hidden junk that slows everything down. First things first, let's clean up what's secretly eating your phone's speed. You've probably heard of something called cache, but most people don't really know what it is. Think of it like this. Every time you open an app, your phone saves little temporary files images, thumbnails, bits of data. So the next time you open that app, it loads faster. That's what cache does. The problem is, over time, these cached files pile up. They take up storage, use memory, and even make your app slower instead of faster, especially if they get corrupted or outdated. So it's time to clear it out. Open settings, scroll down and select apps. Now tap the three lines or filter icon near the top and choose sort by size. The biggest ones are the apps that take up the most space and resources. Tap one of them, go into storage, and press clear cache. Don't touch clear data. That would erase your app info, logins, or saved progress. Clearing the cache only removes temporary junk files. It frees up storage, refreshes your apps, and instantly makes your phone feel faster without deleting anything important. Repeat this process for the other apps taking up the most space. Now, let's move on into the hidden settings most people never even know exist. Step 2. Turn off nearby device scanning. There's a setting buried deep inside your phone that almost no one talks about, but it never stops running. Even when your Bluetooth is off, even when you're not connected to anything, it's still there, quietly working in the background. It's called nearby device scanning, and its job is to constantly look for nearby Bluetooth and Wi-Fi devices, speakers, TVs, even other phones. It does this so your phone can instantly connect to things around you. But here's the catch. 99% of the time, you're not connecting to anything. So your phone keeps scanning for no reason, wasting energy, draining your battery, and using processing power that could be keeping your phone fast and cool. It's like leaving your car engine running all night when you're not even driving it. Now let's shut it off. Go to Settings. Connections more connection settings. You'll see nearby device scanning. If it's turned on, go ahead and switch it off. Don't worry, this won't affect your ability to connect to your earbuds, smartwatch, or any Bluetooth device. You can still pair them manually whenever you want. But once this setting is off, your phone will finally stop wasting power, searching for invisible devices, and you'll notice your battery lasting longer and your system running smoother. Step 3. Stop Google from analyzing what's on your screen. Now let's move to the next setting. And this one's a big deal for your privacy and your phone's speed. Open your phone's settings and go to Apps. Default Apps. Digital Assistant App. You'll probably see either Google Assistant or Gemini selected. What most people don't realize is that these assistants don't just wait for you to say, hey, Google. They're quietly running in the background, constantly listening for triggers, analyzing what's on your screen, and syncing that data to the cloud. That's why we're going to turn it off completely. When you choose None instead of Google Assistant or Gemini, something important happens behind the scenes. Your phone stops sending your voice to Gemini or Google servers. It blocks any AI from analyzing your screen or reading on-screen content. 
And it removes the assistant trigger so it won't wake up every time it hears something similar to Hey Google. This single change completely disables both Gemini and Google Assistant from running as your system level voice or screen assistant. Now let's move to the next one. 4. Turn off animation scales to boost speed instantly. Now that your phone is secure, Lewis, let's make it faster. What most people don't realize is that Android intentionally adds animation delays between every action. When you open an app or swipe a screen, your phone is playing smooth transitions. Not because it's slow, but because it's programmed to wait. You can remove that delay completely. Go to Settings. About Phone. Select Software Information. Then tap Build Number 7 times to unlock Developer Options. Your device will ask for your screen lock pin or password. Once it's enabled, go back to the main settings menu. You'll now see developer options. Open it and scroll down until you find window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. These three settings control how fast your phone's animations play whenever you open apps, switch screens, or perform any visual action. Change each from 1x to 0.5x. Or animation off right away. Your phone will feel snappier and smoother. Apps open instantly. Screens respond faster and you'll notice your battery lasting longer too. And that's it. Four hidden settings that make your phone faster, safer, and more private. Your voice, your data, your device, all back under your control. If this video helped you, hit that like button subscribe, and share it with someone who thinks my phone's fine. Because trust me, it's not until they do this. See you in the next one.